Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing this fun shower cap tutorial. It's going to be super fun, so if you want to learn how to make this cool uh, shower cap, then keep watching and I'll teach you too how. So I'm going to show you how to fuse plastic. So this is what it looks like, and it's just used with elastic and recycled bags from when you go shopping. So after you've collected some of your plastic bags, you are going to lay them out flat and get them nice and neat so you can see all the designs and logos that you want to use and you want to cut out. So then you're just going to cut out the logos from your plastic bags. Reduce, reuse, recycle. So after you're done cutting out all of your plastic bags, you're going to need either parchment paper or wax paper. And I like the parchment paper better just because it's longer so I can get more stuff done. And then you're going to need an iron. So here's a little trick for the plastic bags that have the designs on them. If you want to keep the designs on the plastic bag without them transferring onto the wax paper or parchment paper, Instead, you can cut your bag and just cut the bottom off like this. And then before you go to fuse it, you just wanna turn the bag inside out so it'll be like a little tube. And then you're gonna turn it inside out and then you'll fuse it that way so that the ink doesn't get on the other stuff and it you know, stays like nice and cool looking. Um, if you don't want it to overlap, just make sure that when you um, when you fuse it, you kind of put it like this, so it's going to be on the clear side, and then, you know, this print will also come through on the clear side, so it doesn't show up and overlap and make the design look weird. This plastic stuff is really toxic, so if you guys can hear, I have my window open. I'm doing this by an open window, and I'm also wearing a little face mask. I'm not breathing in the fumes. So make sure to do this in a well-ventilated area. So you're gonna put your um, iron onto rayon or synthetic or polyester. And then you're going to work from the center out and constantly move the iron over your workspace. So we're basically fusing both those two sheets together to form one so that it's thicker and we can do a cool project with it. And keep in mind, you can fuse plastic and use it for all types of different projects. You really don't have to just use it for this one in particular. So before you take it off, like what I'm about to do, give it some time to cool because it is kind of hot and you don't want to like burn your fingers or get the like melted plastic or ink on you. So just let it cool for a minute. And then, once it's done cooling, you will see that it is now one piece of like really pliable, thicker plastic. I'm going to go ahead and do these with all of my bags, and then I'm going to show you what to do next. So once you have all your plastics fused together, I like to go ahead and cut just the rough edges. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these rough edges off. I have sewed all of them together into one huge rectangle. So it's going to look something like this. Then next, I am going to take one of the plastic pieces I've already fused together and I just cut it into a little heart shape. And I'm going to go ahead and fuse that now into the center of my uh, rectangle after I've sewed it all together so I know exactly where I want it and where I want to place it. So I'm gonna just go back to the ironing board and fuse this in and then I'll be right back. So I just finished fusing on the little heart that I put on here and now I think that I'm gonna be adding these two extra pieces 
because I want to make a uh, circle for the project that we're doing. So uh, I'm just going to add these two on right here and then I'm going to cut it into a circular shape. Then I'm literally just going to like eyeball and cut out like a circle shape. And always like when I'm doing crafts, I never really follow like any specific thing. I kind of just like do whatever I feel like. And if it doesn't work, then I learn from my mistakes and then I, you know, try something different next time, the next time I do it. So if I mess up, I'm just like, uh, whatever. That sucks, but at least I know that didn't work and then, you know, I try something different. So the next thing you're going to need is some elastic. I'm using just lingerie elastic and I am going to measure the circumference of my head and then leave a few more inches in case you make any mistakes or something. And I just want to let everybody know I've never done this before. I don't know if it's going to work. It might not work at all and I've spent literally all day trying to make this project. So I'm going to like stretch it a little bit, go around my head and then I'll probably like cut it right here because I feel like that's giving enough leeway. I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to cross my fingers and wish for the best. <laughs> so as you sew your elastic on, just make sure that you go slow. And then as you're sewing, pull the elastic taut as you sew and then stop and then pull. You get the idea as you watch it as I'm doing it. So just make sure you pull on the elastic so it gets that like wrenching or whatever it's called ruching effect. I have no idea what you call it. <laughs> and you're basically just sewing the elastic um, you know on the outer corners of the plastic circle and just leave like you know half an inch um, where the plastic is from where you're sewing the elastic onto. So we just finished our little shower cap and as you can see mine is pretty big which is good because I have a lot of hair. I want to make it a little bit tighter on my head. So if I were to try this on you will see that it's kind of big. It has a lot of extra space. So what I'm going to do, sew it so that there's not so much extra space and it can actually be usable as a shower cap. Give this video a thumbs up if for me being a no makeup and making a crazy shower cap tutorial for you guys today. It's literally taking me all freaking day long to do this. Hopefully it won't take you guys all day because you will know what mistakes not to make like I did and then you'll be able to go from there. But it's a cool way to like recycle and reuse your grocery bags and you know make something cool and waterproof for the shower. You can even put fabric on the inside of it um, if you wanted to you know make it more cozy and comfortable. Alright so I'm going to sew this, fix it up and then I will show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay so I figured out a way to fix this. So when it's big like this, I'm basically going to take like sections that I don't really like and there's no design and I'm going to just like fold it over like that. So there's like a little part here and then I'm just going to sew like here and then I'm going to do it again on like another section that I feel like is kind of big. So maybe like right here or something, I'll do it again. That way you'll see that it's going to be a lot, the, the closing is going to be a lot smaller and that way it'll be totally covering my hair and no water will get in. So I'm going to sew those two parts together again, I'll show you really quick. So it's basically just taking this part here that has no design and just folding it over and overlapping it to make it tighter. It's just going to be a really fun project and you can, I know it doesn't look like super like sexy and fancy but it's something fun and it's something that you can make yourself and you can also just use it for traveling if you want it.